It looks like the heaviest rain, though, is still scheduled for either side of lunchtime. Could be a mess on the roads during the middle of the day. Now, this morning, it's not going to be smooth sailing out there, as we do already have some slightly damp streets just in and out of a few quick moving light showers this morning. So some neighborhoods already smelling like rain and you may have some damp streets in a couple of spots, but it looks like the heaviest rain is going to show up around 11 o'clock or lunchtime. Well, what a difference an hour makes as we move into the middle of the day. Uh, we'll have a few periods of some heavier showers through about two o'clock this afternoon. And then a little pull of some dry air. Now the winds during the afternoon as we pop back out into a few peaks of sunshine this afternoon, the winds are going to be hustling as we slide into the evening. A few more clouds fill in and a few hours after dark around 9 or 10 p.m. There may be another sprinkle uh, here in the valley. Now rain totals perhaps not quite as intense as we thought they may be. However, uh, about a tenth of an inch of rain expected from the strip off to the east. If you're in Summerlin, you'll see more than a quarter inch of rain today. So more wet weather on the west side of town. However, everyone in the Las Vegas Valley, even on the east side towards Sunrise Manor, uh, downtown Henderson, uh, should see about a tenth of an inch of rain. Here's our strat cam. We've got temperatures 52. It's actually not all that frigid outside this morning. We'll keep it in the low 50s. A few sprinkles off and on through the morning commute. The winds right now are calm. Midday we're 58 widespread showers. Some of that rain could be briefly heavy. The winds 15 to 25 miles per hour during the lunch hour. Beware of wet streets during the middle of the day. This afternoon we're dry after 2 p.m. but turning real windy. 25 to 35 mile per hour winds develop this afternoon. They'll keep going this evening. That may be the strongest period of wind during the early evening and one or two isolated showers could redevelop out there after dark. So tomorrow looks like a quiet day. 61 uh, will have calmer conditions. 40s tomorrow morning. So chilly but not frigid when you wake up on our Friday. This weekend it is going to be even colder. 50s for highs. Maybe a stray shower on Saturday. A little windy on Saturday. Nina, next week even colder. We're going to wake up to the 30s. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings and that'll keep us in the low 50s for most of next week. Oof, all right.